stations on Dragon. One minute until configure for terminal count. T-minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Top nine, go for propellant loading. Dragon is in countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. For those of you just joining us, uh, welcome back. Uh, we are still continuing our live coverage of the Dragon spacecraft docking to the International Space Station. Uh, currently, the uh, spacecraft is docked, and the uh, crew on the board of the space station has completed all of their checks, and they're ready to give us a welcome message to officially welcome the Dragon spacecraft to the space station. That's right. Uh, just to recap a couple of the times for you, so the initial contact and capture happened at 5.51 a.m. Eastern Time, and then it completed its hard dock uh, just about 11 minutes later at 6.02 a.m. Eastern, and then the hatches to the spacecraft were opened up at 8.07 a.m. Eastern, and then since then, the crew has done a bunch of work. They've verified uh, the atmosphere inside Dragon. We're now cycling air from Dragon into the space station, uh, so a lot of all of these early tasks checked off. So for now, we're just going to hang out for a couple of minutes. We should see at least two of our crew members come on camera in just a few moments. They're going to share a few words.
Houston Station on Space Ground 2. We are ready and standing by. And Station Houston on two, we are ready for a voice check on Space 2 Ground 3, please. Uh, Space Ground 3, we can loud and clear. And Oleg, uh, that was a good voice check, loud and clear. So uh, Expedition 58, we are ready to begin the welcoming ceremony. Good morning. Good morning. International Space Station is speaking. I am Oleg Kalanenko, ISS Expedition 58, Commander from Russia, David Sanjak, Flight Engineer from Canada, and McLean, Flight Engineer from USA. On behalf of my crew, I would like to persuade the United States of America and the NASA team with this significant event, successful launch, and dock of SpaceX crew Dragon spaceship. It's honor and uh, pride for us to meet with uh, this spaceship here on board the International Space Station and uh, become a part of uh, important mission for the U.S. space program and the historical step uh, on our way. And historical step all way of a human, yeah, human being uh, beyond maybe the whole Earth's orbit to the Moon and Mars in the future. Hello, bonjour. Of course, uh, honored and privileged to be here on this important day. We're standing in uh, Node 2, the very forward end of Space Station, where the space shuttles used to dock. And now we have a brand new vehicle that's come this morning, flawless operations, the result of years of work, thousands of people around the world among many teams. And uh, it was a beautiful thing to see. Of course, Space Life is all about teamwork, collaboration. Today we welcome a, the brand new spacecraft to Space Station, a great new uh, uh, addition to the quiver of tools we have, humans, to further space exploration. This is a, a good day, first day of a, a new era uh, for the next generation of space explorers. Our sincere congratulations to all Earthlings who have enabled the opening of this next chapter in space exploration. To the International Space Station teams, past and present, who stand guard 24 hours a day at control centers from Moscow to Japan, Germany to Houston. Congratulations to the teams at SpaceX and Boeing, who have been working diligently to define what this new era of commercial space flight will look like. And congratulations to all nations, private space firms, and individuals who wake up every day driven by the magic of exploration. This day begins to all, belongs to all of us. Spaceflight gives us a chance to reflect on the context of our existence. We're reminded that we are human before any of our differences, before all of the lines that are drawn that divide us. And we are reminded that we're at our best when we are part of something bigger than ourselves. In 1957, just over 60 years ago, history changed when Russia launched Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite. 
People across the globe gathered in backyards and looked up at the night sky hoping to catch a glimpse. A few years later, people of all nationalities gripped hands, hoping and praying for Yuri Gagarin's successful launch as he became the first human in space. And in 1969, every TV across the globe was tuned in as Buzz, Michael, and Neil embarked on the first human journey to the moon. Today, human advancement of exploration continues as the first new space vehicle designed for humans in over 40 years arrived at our front door, welcomed by our crew of one Russian, one Canadian, and one American who have been living together as family for three months aboard the International Space Station. These events remind us that we are more alike than different, that we can be united by a cause that is not based on fear, threat, or common enemy, but rather on a bold endeavor, an insatiable curiosity to go beyond what is known and to do what has never been done. We humans were built for exploration, and we were built to do it together. I think we should show off the newest space vehicle. On behalf of Ripley, Little Earth, myself, and our crew, welcome to the Crew Dragon. Congratulations to all of the teams who made yesterday's launch and today's docking a success. These amazing feats show us not how easy our mission is, but how capable we are of doing hard things. Welcome to the new era in spaceflight. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you, Expedition 58, for your remarks on this historic day in human spaceflight. We are going to resume operational audio comm. Uh, That's so great to hear from the crew of Expedition 58. Uh, we here at SpaceX are obviously honored to be part of the mission today. Uh, just a quick recap, recap of today's mission. Uh, crew Dragon did have a soft capture at 2.51 a.m. Pacific time and then a hard capture at 3.02 a.m. Uh, on behalf of both SpaceX and NASA, thank you so much for watching today's webcast and your interest in this exciting mission. Now the Dragon has reached the International Space Station, it will spend five or six days docked there. That's right, and when it's time for Dragon to make its way home, of course, we're going to be showing you its return live, and we're going to start from that departure all the way through recovery, and that's going to be on SpaceX.com and on NASA TV. As always, be sure to follow SpaceX and NASA on social media for any real-time updates, and as the crew's doing stuff throughout the week, we'll be posting some of those updates online. And if you're interested from hearing more from the crew this morning, you can always follow their social media accounts as well. Thanks again so much for watching and sticking around with all of these activities is really important moment in spaceflight history and a great moment for the commercial crew program, SpaceX, NASA, everyone involved. But as always, thank you for the viewer. We will see you when it's time for Dragon to come home. For now, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Thanks. Thanks, guys.